The feed paw advances the nails from your roofing nailer's magazine into the nose piece. When the gun is fired, the feed piston is cycled, which pushes the feed paw forward, feeding the nails. Over time, the hooks on the feed paw will wear until they start to skip over the nails. Replacing the feed paw is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the magazine. With the magazine removed, now I can remove the nose piece cover. I'll remove the rubber washer from the step pin. Now I can press the step pin through the piston. Now I'll disassemble the safety linkage. First I'll remove the spring, and then the screw that secures the contact foot. And I'll pull the contact foot away from the nose piece. Now I'll use my punch to pull the piston away from the pawl. Then I can remove the pawl. And the pawl spring. Now I can install the new pawl. I'll pull the piston back and align the pawl with the housing. Now I'll reinstall the spring. The spring goes into the recess in the pawl. I'll slightly compress the spring and allow the piston to travel back over the top of it. And now I can remove the punch. Now I'll reinstall the step pin. I'll align the pawl with the piston and insert the pin. Now I can reinstall the rubber washer. I'll place the washer over the end of the pin and press it into place. Now I'll reinstall the contact foot. And the spring. Now I'll reinstall the nose piece cover and finish up by reinstalling the magazine. And now you can replace the feed pawl in your roofing nailer. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.